Okay, I just wanted to do a quick review of these two cases that I have here before I ship one of them back, which I'm shipping back this one. I'm keeping this travel light case. Okay, so I couldn't find really much anything on the internet about these travel light cases. This is the T60 model, which is for the classical guitar, and the Gator case over here is for the classical guitar too. I just wanted to talk about a few things I liked about it. You can find plenty of information about the Gator cases online. Um, I really like how lightweight this one is, but mostly I really like the quality. Feels a lot more quality than that case. This actually stays open. The Gator case, the whole guitar will tip over like this. Whole case when you pull out your guitar and it looks really unprofessional. This has a hydrometer inside of it, which is really neat. And it has a pretty big compartment, which the other one has a compartment as well. But um, decent size and it's lockable. And it has this thing where, you know, this is it, it shuts with a zipper, but you can shut it like this as well. Temporarily, you know, you don't want to carry around your guitar around like that, but it's a nice safety feature, like in case you forget to zip the zipper up there. Um, anyways, though, it's a very nice snug fit. I'll show you how it fits my Darren Hipner guitar here. So this is a custom-built guitar, so it fits guitars a pretty general shape. I'd say if you have a raised fretboard, you probably be skeptical if it's going to fit or not. But this doesn't have a raised fretboard, and it's uh. It's, it fits very nice and snug in there. Um, I really like it. It seems very safe. Um, it shuts fine. No, really no space. Um, anyways though, yeah, let me pull the guitar back out and I'll show a round view of the case because I couldn't even find a picture of the top of the case. I didn't even know what the top of it looked like when I ordered it. Um, you know, it, it's, it's interesting because this one isn't really the shape of a, of a guitar like the Gator case one is. But I, I like that, it's kind of neat, and it fits on your shoulders very well, since your shoulders actually have a place to rest. Um, here's another great thing about this case, in comparison to the Gator case. This one has these metal clips, and the Gator case are plastic, and on the Gator case, these like snap off and come off, but these seem like they'll stay. Um, the, these clips seem like, pretty hard to press down, so I think it would take a lot more to actually have those clips fall off. Um, yeah, anyways, just feels very well made. Um, it's a great case. Gator case, the good thing about this is it has a pouch. Um, I don't ever use it really because I keep all my stuff in my backpack. But um, for some people that could be a big thing if you just want to have an all-around solution here. But here's the problem with this case. So you start, first off, you're even just starting opening it and this thing's like lifting off the ground. You get it to fully open and it tips over. I mean you can get it to where it balances. but. It, in general, it tips out when you pull your guitar out, especially since like your guitar pulls up on this a little bit too when you lift it. Um, it's also quite a bit tighter fit on this one, uh, like a, a bad type of tight fit for my guitar. See, I can't even grab my guitar and do this well. It just tips over. But um, so my guitar in here, I have to have it like straight. See, it's falling on my guitar and I can't even have it like that. Anyways. Yeah, see, I, I kind of got to press my guitar in there, but it's not like that with everyone's, you know. All the guitars are different when they're custom made, but, um, anyways, yeah, this one has the pouch, too. Um, keep a little stuff in. All, a lot of the same features. Um, I just really liked how well built this, um, uh, I keep on forgetting the name, Travel Light cases. There's a little logo. It's the T60 model. Anyways, I don't know exact model this one's called. It's just a Gator case. It's the soft, lightweight model. And uh, here's the clips I was talking about. Kind of unreliable. What'll happen, I'll show you. What'll happen is this will come over the top like that. That'll be the first step. And then something will happen where, I don't know if I can do it like this, but where it'll like hit the side when you pick up the case. Uh, I don't know if it'll work. But Anyways, these will come unsnapped really easily or even break and I'm not the only one with this issue. I've talked to other guitarists that have the same problem with this case. Um, but as you can see, the straps are the same, just the ends of them are different. This one has metal clips. I really like that. Anyways, both great cases, both very valid reasons to use each, but I really like this one. Also, I'm talking about the trap light. This is the one I'm going to keep. Um, also, there's a price difference. The one over here is $90, the Travel Light one, $92, I think it was on Amazon, free shipping. The Gator case was more like, I want to say $65 or $70. So, this one is a little bit more expensive, but to me, I think it's worth it for a little bit better quality and, um, you know, a little bit more professionalism there. So, anyways, thought I'd make a review because I really didn't see much about these. Um, hope someone enjoys this.